hello, my name is Rocco, and we are here today with our daily reading for November 8th, and um, it's a beautiful day. I please invite all of my uh, viewers to subscribe to the channel of Esoteric Services, which um, is certainly original, innovative, and especially honest. So um, I have here my deck of cards, which is um, Rider Waite's Giant deck. So let's shuffle the cards and then we'll meditate to open your third eye. Third eye is um, a tool to see the universe um, under a different light, which is um, the light of love, which is a synonym for life. When one doesn't enjoy life, one doesn't enjoy death. So, um, this is deep spiritual truth to be known. Um, the card of the day is, um, the Emperor. It's, um, a four, so it's a really a stable card. <clears throat> it's not a king because a uh, king is my so, um, it's part of the court cards. The Emperor is a card for um, self-deceit, to some even. It is a card for uh, stability, power, um, in, in the angeldom um, that we know. It's a card for Archangel Michael. And it provides uh, control against stability, authority power and it's a masculine card it doesn't differ greatly from the empress only in that the power of the emperor is open and manifest an empress uh, knows her way to get to things and the way of a female is more subtle softer and not necessarily uh, doesn't get to where she needs to get because that wouldn't um, define her a person of power but especially um, an empress is someone who can uh, discover uh, the true gifts behind someone um, the card today means that um, we have to surrender to the higher power that is life and if we want to do so we have to understand what life is all about and life isn't about cheating it isn't about uh, controlling it's about um, being in control we can't control unless we control ourselves so um, that is a very fine point for us to discover the control of ourselves and our emotions. As magicians, we need to uh, get in touch with that um, safe area that's in us that's called divinity. And divinity is something that we can't trade because it's in us already. It only has to be reawakened or touched. Uh, divinity for the Satanist is what for the Christian would be the Holy Spirit and vice versa. It's that part of us that uh, connects us to the all, but at the same time it gives us, um, and this is knowledge that most um Christians would lack uh, gives us power. There's nothing wrong with the word power, and there's nothing wrong with the word authority. 
In Satanism, uh, the card of the Emperor reminds us of um, Lucifer, although um, the Devil has its own card. But, um, nevertheless, um, we can see masculine qualities in him. And um, in this depiction, we see that the color orange is used orange for the wisdom of the sun that is concealed and that's revealed um, if we were to look behind the emperor because the sun illuminates the figure of the emperor and gives him um, energy and um, so that's all for today I hope that you can derive the information that you need from what you hear from me. And um, back to our meditation. So, <clears throat> close your eyes. We are going to meditate with um, the fallen angel Lucifer to open our third eye. For those of you who wish to do so, you can stop the recording and go get a black candle that you are going to lit up while you meditate. That is going to amplify the effect of the meditation. Two people will actually open their third eye and others will have um, progress in their work towards um, uh, opening their third eye. Especially, uh, we have to know that um, mortals uh, can only open uh, their third eye up to a certain point because total awareness is only found for some people in death. So when people die, um, this is why when you call your grandfather and so on, um, they seem to be... They seem to be wiser, they seem to uh, get to you more. That's because they love you more unconditionally, no matter where they are usually, because they're more connected to um, this concept of being um, open in the wisdom to see God. So um, Satan is God. And... Um, as such, he, uh, just like any other demon, angel, or fairy, can uh, help you in opening your third eye. Also, um, <clears throat> fairies, gnomes, and other nature spirits that we study in um, my groups are connected to the concept of the third eye, and uh, unicorns are also uh, fantasy figures that... Um, are known in Satan, um, sorry, in paganism and other religions and sport and forms of spirituality that, um, because of their horn, um, can very well see the uh, reality. In order to open your third eye, uh, for a Satanist, a third eye is also good to see deep spiritual truths and also to see um, the real um, appearance or close to that enough of um, the fallen angels. For the average person of say Christian or Buddhist faith, the third eye uh, besides seeing the universe with love is good to see um, Christ in his um, um, originary form and to see uh, wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge are two things that should be unified into some sort of um, unique or better um, soul code um, among all religions. Um, So, let's move on to the meditation.
close your eyes and try to stimulate your third eye with thoughts of um, illumination, wisdom, and knowledge. So repeat to yourself these three words as if it was a mantra. Then focus on the angel of light, the light bringer, the demon, Satan, or Lucifer, if you prefer, and focus on his wings that are pure white, and focus on his third eye that's already perfectly open and that will tell you where you are spiritually, no matter who you are. For those of you who didn't know, um, the New Age, uh, we'll see, um, and this is what I'm writing about in my new book that's upcoming, called uh, Lucifero Celeste, um, that um, the fallen angels will, um, like in that novel, Paradise Regained, will reascend to the heavens um, after. <clears throat> there will be a punishment. So um, let's try to respect these beings to a larger degree, although we know that um, they are fully responsible for a um, big part of the evil things that are going on in the world today. And perhaps if you're not Christian enough uh, in your life as well, because uh, it's still two opposites that we're dealing with angels and demons that live um with um sufficient harmony in that same being that's lucifer so going back to his third eye go and see uh beneath it and beyond it above you see his crown because he is king or emperor and um in his eyes you will see the answer that you seek and focus on the shape of a triangle that covers this part of um, his face so part of part of his face and part of his forehead and um, his left eye by focusing on this image of a triangle you will then apply the same triangle onto your third eye my third eye is open and functioning and your third eye needs work and your perception changes totally so the wings of the um, Archangel Lucifer are wide open and although his body is that of a demon it is still a beautiful being that can inspire you so currently I teach all religions and all forms of spirituality, although I am currently Luciferian, but I um, am aware of the um, Christian cosmology and what it stands for. So um, truth aside, um, focus on the thought of a uh, watermelon. And then eat the watermelon and smile and rejoice in the happiness that this fruit of nature gives you. And by savoring that fruit, um, you'll see that automatically your third eye will open on. Because the knowledge that Lucifer offers is gentle and it's pure. And only those who don't have faith, don't have courage, and don't have strength fall. And that's the same thing with God, Jehovah. Only those who don't have respect for Him are the ones who are punished. Only difference is that um, Jehovah isn't selective in His choice, because in theory He would love everyone. While Lucifer um, only... Um, makes uh, his own people proud.
So you come to the conclusion that uh, the devil has helped you and now he's greeting you. Um, if he touches your shoulder, you understand that he's chosen you for initiation. Um, if he touches your heart, it means that you are fake to yourself. And if he smiles at you, it means that you will be cursed. So, um, moving on. Open your physical eyes. And see the universe and the people around you um, with a different perspective that's perhaps more loving, perhaps wiser, um, perhaps more knowledgeable. Um, what it counts is that um, you understand the difference of energy that is possible to cause with magic. Thank you and have a great day. Ciao.